Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. Uh, tonight, I and for my Tuesday premiere train, um, I am partnering once again with Julie E to do our monthly color collab. And this month, I chose the color green. It's not a color I use very often, and usually when I use it, I pair it with the color blue. I think it's, it's one of my favorite color combinations, but I don't use green very often, so I wanted a little more practice. So she and I are doing greens this week. Uh, her video will be coming after mine, and uh, her I've already seen it. It's gorgeous. You're going to love it. So um, I built my color palette around these two color greens. This is Amsterdam Sap Green, which uh, is a very dark green color, and it dries even darker than, than it shows on camera. And this is this little piggy in asparagus, which is a beautiful kind of mossy green. It has a bit of a gold flash to it. I think it's going to be beautiful with that. And instead of going with my um, comfort zone, I decided to pair my greens with some pinks. I've never actually used the, done a green and pink color combo before. Um, I, it scares me a little bit. So I think I've worked out a way that I might find something interesting here. So this uh, lighter pink is uh, Amsterdam Persian Rose, which is a beautiful soft pink. And this is a mix of two different This Little Piggy pigments. I have um, Show Pony and Supernova. Uh, this was just a little too vibrant and violet for me, so I wanted to tone it down. So I actually started by mixing up some Supernova. It's a nice pink that has a gold flash to it. And to brighten this up a bit, I added a little bit of this at a time until I got the color I wanted. So I think this is a pretty palette. I also have some Amsterdam Titanium White uh, to put in between the colors. Um, and uh, first, I'm, what I'm going to do is layer some cups uh, with uh, green and pink in separate cups. And I will stack some ring pours. I'll do the green first, put a little bit of white, and then put the pinks on top of that. And then I'm going to wreck it. So we'll see how that comes up. I'm hoping, because I'm putting the green on the bottom, that uh, the pink is going to be kind of like the focal color with the accents of the green. So that's what I'm going to do. I also have some chroma krill acrylic essentials uh, as my base coat mixed up uh, it's a little bit thinner than the rest actually let me show you uh, i'll use the, uh, the paint to show you the consistency of my paints so you can see that the ooh, look at the sparkle on that isn't that going to be gorgeous this is my this little piggy pigment uh in uh show pony and what was the other one yeah, those two pink, <laughs> those two pinks. Um, but you can see that it's kind of a medium thickness. It does leave a mound on a mound, um, and it drizzles cleanly off of the stick. And but it does uh, disappear fairly quickly. Holds for about you know two seconds or something like that. So I think this is going to be the perfect consistency. My base coat color is a little thinner than that, just because its job is to help all these other paints slide around. So I'm going to start by pouring a little puddle of white. In each of these spots here, where I'm going to do the ring borders, and I'll pour into that. There we go. Now let's layer up a cup. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass, and I am going places. Makes me laugh about the irony of everything. I like the way you're thinking. I don't really care about the music on the dance floor. I don't really mind all the smoke is in. 
Here are the wet results of my wrecked stacked ring pours. I don't know what I was afraid of. Pink and green are gorgeous together. Oh my God, I love this so much. Uh, you could probably tell while I was wrecking that I had a plan. I wanted, I had a specific inspiration for this and it's called a heliconia. There's, uh, it's a tropical flower. I have it all over my garden here in Costa Rica and there's a specific variety called sexy pink and it's the most beautiful kind of lacy leaves and it's got these very very vibrant pink flowers on it and that was my inspiration so i was trying to kind of create that shape of a heliconia flower i'll put that up a picture of one so you can see what i'm uh, what i was going for but i could not be happier with this these greens are spectacular i can't wait to see how it dries because I know there are some TLPs in there and I, I know I'm not gonna be able to get the, there's a little bit of the shimmer, but look at these beautiful lines and the pinks in here and the greens here. Oh my God. I used uh, the back end of a Sharpie to do the wrecking because I wanted to pull as much paint as possible I thought about using a marble to do the wrecking, but uh, I wanted more control over the shape that I was going for in the composition. So look at that. Oh, wow. I am so happy with that. Wow. Those greens together with the pink. I'm gonna have to do this color combo again. This is gorgeous. I love, love, love it. I love how the wrecked lines in here disturbed everything, but created some really interesting details. The corners are great. Yeah, this is real, I love it. I knew it was gonna, because I put the pink on top. I put the green down first and put the pink on top. I knew the pink would be the dominant color, but the green really gives it some depth and, and uh, uh, really needed texture to it. I, oh my God, it is so beautiful. I can't stop looking at it. <laughs> I really hope this dries well. You probably noticed halfway through, I lost one of the push pins in my corner. <laughs> I almost tipped the whole thing off the table. Um, but I managed to uh, make something of it anyway. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. I hope you like it too. Please stay tuned for dry results.
Here are the mostly dry results. It's still a little wet in the middle, but all of the edges have dried and it dried perfectly, exactly like as I had hoped. There's some great sparkle there. I'm not sure if that's showing up in the light, but these lines are gorgeous. I'm super happy with it. Um, I, now I'm thinking I should do this in a couple of other color schemes. Look at the sides. I love the sides on that. I love when the, the pattern comes over the edges. So cool. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and come back and see me sometime.